We're going to go play, okay? Give me some time, buddy. I'm talking to my dog. He's staring at me like, what are you doing? <laughs> it's playtime. You're over here making videos. <laughs> soon, my sir, soon. On today's video, we're going to talk about three certificates that are good for beginners. These are not certificates that are good for people that have already been in IT for a while. If you've been in IT for two years, for three years, for four years, for five years, you don't necessarily need to get the certificates, and we're going to talk more about it later on down in the video. But these certificates are geared more towards people that are just getting started. They don't know where to start. It's like, hey, how do I start? Where do I go? Um, what are the certificates that I take to kind of get my foot in the door to be able to start making a little bit of money or to be able to start building up my skills and getting to where I need to get to? These three certificates are going to help you if you're a beginner, but if you're already established in IT a little bit, you don't have to get this certificate unless your company wants you to. So let's go ahead and roll the intro clip. And when we come back, we're going to talk about these three certificates. Let's go. Hey okay guys, welcome, welcome, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. This channel is about failure. It's about growth. It's about learning. It's about following a path to get to success in IT, in information technology. It's about tech-related stuff, tech-related review, talking about tech-related news. There's a whole bunch of videos that I have planned for the channel. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and you turn on your notification because here's where we learn how to fail. Oh, that should become my slogan. Here's where we learn how to fail so we can grow. <laughs> Anyways, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you turn on your notification. Let's go ahead and let's get uh, to the certificates. One on the list is the A+. And the reason why the A+, is on the list is because the A+, is meant to teach you a lot of the fundamentals, right? So if you're just getting started in IT, you need to understand how computer works. You need to understand the hardware. You need to understand the software. You need to understand where to go to uh, find things. And the A plus kind of helps teach you that. The A plus helps teach you how to put a computer together. What are the components for a computer? What does each comp component do on a computer, right? It teaches you all of these fundamental things that you need to know that are going to become very crucial as you move up in IT. So the more you move up, you're gonna find out that, oh, I'm going to understand things a little bit better because the A plus kind of laid that foundation for you. So the A plus is number one on my list because it's needed for you to be able to understand a lot of the fundamentals, a lot of the basic stuff. And I know a lot of people overlook that and they say just, even if you're new in IT, don't worry about that because it's not gonna make you a whole lot of money. Just, just go straight to the advanced certificate. The problem with that is that you're gonna find that you don't understand the basics. Right? And a lot of these advanced certificates don't go back and try to teach you the basics. That's not what they're there for. They try, the advanced certificates are meant to kind of like move you forward, not move you backward. <laughs> so it's very important if you're just getting started to take this fundamental certificates. This the certificates that teaches you fundamental things that you need to know about um, the computer itself and the structure of a computer and how it works and what you need to understand about it. Because you can just build from there. And the A plus is number one on my list because it teaches you everything that you need to know about a computer. And then from there, you can build on and go to other certificates. Let's go ahead and talk about certificate number two. So now that you've taken the A plus, taken and passed the A plus because you're a rock star and you're super smart, <laughs> now to move on to the next fundamental things that you need to understand. And the next one on the list is the network plus. The network plus is very, very important because it teaches you the basic of networking. Networking is very important because because without networking, no computer will be able to communicate, right? There is no communication happening without networking. So networking is very important because it allows you to, the network plus is very important because it allows you to understand the fundamental of networking. So just like the A plus allow you to understand the fundamental of the computer, the structure of a computer, how a computer works, the uh, Network Plus does the same thing for networking. It teaches you uh, what is a network, what is a subnet, all of the components, the different components that you need to know about networking. The Network Plus teaches you that, and it touches or it touches on all of the things that you need to understand to be able to start your IT career 
um, and be able to just kind of build upon that when you move on to advanced networking certificate. So the Network Plus is very important and that's why it's second on my list because right after you understand how the computer works, you need to understand how the computers communicate. And the Network Plus really does a good job and getting you to understand the fundamentals. Again, notice that a lot a lot of the things that I'm saying here, I'm saying that it's the basic, it's the fundamental, right? These are the things that you need to know. And this is what the certificate, this is what this is what the certificates are designed for. And this is why I said if you've been in IT for a while, you don't need to take these certificates because you've already kind of you already have a good understanding of those things that the certificates are gonna teach you. But if you just wanna have it on your resume, I say why not? But next, uh, the Network Plus is meant to teach you everything you need to know about networking. Um, and it helps you understand how the computers communicate on your network. And that's very important because without networking, there will be no communication. And you just be that guy sitting there with your computer just typing in word <laughs> okay so the last certificate on the list the number three certificate is the security plus the security plus is pretty interesting because it teaches you that you don't necessarily need the security plus right you, you can go you can you can get away with just the a plus and the network plus but the security plus is really good because it starts to teach you a lot of the things that you need to understand about security. So when you are help desk, right, your job most of the time is just to troubleshoot um, computer related issue, like very basic um, desktop support computer related issue. Hey, my PDF is not working. Hey, my Word document is not working. Hey, how do I attach myself to the printer on the network? Those kind of things, those basic troubleshooting things are the things that you're going to have to deal with. You're not worrying too much about security, right? You're not dealing too much about security. But at the same time, you need to understand the fundamental of security because you don't want somebody calling you and be like, hey, uh, my password has expired. Can you change it for me? But it's not the right person. And you don't understand the procedures that you need to follow to be able to change someone's password um, and not get into trouble for it. Like you don't understand giving someone access to a specific folder, right? So those little things become very important as you move on from help desk and start moving on a little bit more uh, in the ladder in IT, right? Move, moving up a little bit more in the IT ladder, right? So the Security Plus is the third certificate because it teaches you, again, a lot of the basics, a lot of the fundamental things, a lot of the little things that you need to understand about security so you can help whoever is right above you or your the, the system administrator or the system engineer or the security administrator or whoever is dealing with security, you can help make their job a little bit easier, right? And also, if you're planning to get into security, then the Security Plus, if you're just getting started, the Security Plus is a must because it teaches you a lot of the fundamentals, a lot of the things that you need to start looking out for um, when you start working, a lot of the things that you should not do, or a lot of the things that you should do right when it comes to security so the security plus is a very good certificate for someone that's just getting started in it right and that is the last certificate on the list so you have three certificates now or we have three certificates now right number one is the a plus to you the fundamental of computer computer hardware computer software and all the little things that you need to know about computer number two is the network plus teaches you the fundamental and the basic stuff that you need to understand about networking and how to allow the computers to communicate on your network. Number three is the Security Plus. It teaches you a lot of the things that you need to understand in order to make your environment a little bit more secure, in order to be secure yourself and not get into trouble by doing things that you don't necessarily need to do or you don't fully understand. Getting the Security Plus would allow you to be able to mitigate that and be able to become better knowledgeable, right? Better knowledgeable about some of the security aspect of your job. So these are the three certificates that you definitely need to get if you're just getting started in IT, right? These are the fundamental, um, uh, 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 these are the things that are gonna teach you some of the fundamental things that you need to understand. These are the things that are gonna help you get that first job in IT. No slacking, no laying around, 
these are the three certificates that you need to work hard on if you're just getting started in IT and you don't know where to go get these three certificates and start applying start building lab outside of work put the work in learn a lot of the basic concept learn a lot of the things that you're reading about for the certificates do a lot of labs and i guarantee you you are most likely going to be able to get an entry-level position uh, when it comes to IT. What I'm going to do, I'm going to include in for all of the certificates. I'm going to include the link in the description, information in the description box, and some of the website or the courses that I think can help you take and pass certificates. All right, so you got people like Professor Messer, which is free. Right, you can watch his video for free, but if you want his um, study notes, you have to pay for it, and it's 25 bucks. I know you have 25 bucks. Don't be cheap. <laughs> yeah. So if you want to, you want his study material, which kind of outline all of the points in like very well structured manner and allow you to just go through it and be able to study things, then Professor Messer is really good. And his course is free on YouTube. You can watch it whenever you want. You have things like IT Pro TV, which is kind of like my personal favorite. They have A plus courses. So you can go in there. It's paid, of course. You can go in there, you can um, you can watch things, you can learn things, you can look at the lab, and then you can look at the practice test. They have everything in one place, and that's why I like IT Pro TV. You have CBT Nuggets. I don't use CBT Nuggets that much. Maybe they have, I don't know what they have exactly because I haven't used them that much, but you can check them out. I'll have a link in the description box below. You have Udemy, another one of my personal favorites. It's pretty cheap. So you can uh, go to that as well. All of the link will be in the description box below. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. I hope this video has been somewhat helpful to you. If you haven't done so already, as I said, this channel is about growing. It's about learning. It's about failing. It's about embracing failure. Um, it's not about being the smartest person in the room. It's about trying to be the best that you can every single day. So if you like that concept, if you like that idea, Make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification because I'm going to be coming out with more videos like this. I'm going to be coming out with news videos. I'm going to be coming out with review videos that have to do with tech. And I'm going to be playing with a whole bunch of um, tech related stuff, building stuff, tearing stuff down. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. It's about failure and it's about breaking things and figuring out why um, I can't get them to work. And then maybe some of you guys in the comment might be like, hey, don't be stupid. Do it this way. <laughs> that would be great as well. So make sure you turn on your notification. Um, come join me on my journey. We can fail and learn together. Um, it's not about uh, someone that know it all. It's about someone that put in the work every single day and try to kind of get to where they want to get to in IT. Right? So hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notification. Let's get the party started. <laughs>